Hey guys, what's up? So um, if you have seen the, the start of this, um, the thumbnail and the, 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 the title of this video is basically I was kind of scammed um, on this product, so it wasn't um, an official product. So what happened was um, I was on Facebook Marketplace and I saw that someone was selling this Tag Team Powers collection box and um, I kind of just jumped on it straight away because the price was really, really good. Well, I thought it was really good at the time because they were already selling for a lot more, uh, more money on eBay and there weren't in any st uh, in any online shops uh, to get one from like KS cards or like anywhere else and I really want, wanted one because I did miss out on them when they first came out because they kind of sold out straight away so I was like uh, yeah I'll have the Umber on and Dark Rye one how much is it and he's like this is, it's I can't remember how much it was but I sent the money off uh, through PayPal and then I sent me the address and he came You'll see from the start of the video that I was immediately suspicious. Uh, the product was damaged. The the cardboard was like bent. It looked like it'd been like folded off and resealed and like and uh, glued back together. So I sort of like show you that at the start of the video. So really watch and look, take uh, uh, like pause the video if you need to have a good look at what the box looks like and then um, see what you think. Uh, so straight away I was like I was like oh it's been resealed. It's off Facebook Marketplace. Like I'm I'm not going to really expect to get anything in this. So anyways, I opened it anyways, and you, you'll see that we did get some good pulls um, from some of the packs, and uh, which I was quite happy with. Uh, there, was a lot of, uh, there was a couple of cards in there that I did want, so, um, which I did pull. But um, when you look towards like sort of the XY Evolutions pack, which is probably the most expensive booster pack in this collection box, mm -hmm. just because they resell quite high. Um, I think that one was definitely tapping with. It opened up really easy. Um, when we got to the end of it, it was like whitening on the, on the rare card. It was just like really like suspicious things about it. So what I think what happened was the guy's probably bought it. He's opened up the box and then he's looked at the packs that he's wanted to open up, opened them up, any cards that he wanted out of them sets, he's took out and then he's replaced with another one from probably a previous booster that he's opened and then he's resealed them packs, put them back in the collection box, resealed the collection box and then he sold it to me. Um, so the the word all time with the a lot of the a lot of the older packs in there some of the like the the, the sun and moon ones they definitely weren't they opened up nicely and um they were all in order though so you definitely knew what he was doing but just like a warning to you guys like if you ever do like um like buy off Facebook Marketplace just ask the seller as many questions as you can ask for videos of the product ask for more photos of the product ask where you got it from. Just straight up ask, is this a resealed product or is this a product that you've bought and then never opened and just now decided to sell uh, before you actually buy it. And always go through like business, PayPal, even if they sell it's like, oh, we'll do friends and family and I'll not sure, I'll, I'll knock off a couple of pound off so it doesn't get charged for you. Just pay the extra couple of quid. It's only like about two pound or three pound or maybe even 50 pence if you're just buying individual cards just to cover yourself in case uh, it doesn't come because if you buy a Facebook marketplace and you go through friends and family um, and then the seller just backs out doesn't send you it you have no cover to try and claim it back because it's in the terms and conditions of PayPal they'll not refund you and chase them if you send it through friends, friends and family uh, but anyways without further ado I'm going to start this video is let me know in the comment section what do you think whether you, whether you think it was resealed whether you think it was just damaged in the mail uh, but I definitely thought it was resealed. There was a lot of like damage to the cards before they even before I even took them out of the pack. You could see that it was whitening around a lot of the cards. But anyways, I'll start this video now. And uh, remember, look out for uh, Sunday's video, which we're giving away some online uh, secret rare cards. Again, which we're going to be starting with the Golden Berserker from Rebel Clash. Anyways, let's try to enjoy this video. <laughs> All right, how you doing, guys? It's uh, going to be another um, opening today. So today we've actually got uh, this. So uh, when it first, when this first came out, I didn't actually manage to get one because it was like really popular and sold up straight away. So this is so this is the um, Espion, uh, sorry, the Umbreon in uh, dark white version. So basically, they're both the same. Have you ever like, seen them before? They basically get all the same cards and same um, packs in with just the like the jumbo that's different, so when one one jumbo you get this one, the Umbra and Dark Rye, and the other one you get the Espeon and Deoxys, but uh, you still get both cards in there, both sets though. Anyways, I'm just going to open this up, but before we do, I did actually get a sort of Facebook sale, not in like a product shop, and I don't know if it's just me being a little bit paranoid, but this looks a little bit suspicious around here with like different like bending of the card, 
and um, it's where it looks like it might have been resealed. I'm hoping it hasn't. It does, look, it does feel like a bit loose as well, but uh, we'll see what happens if we're getting often in the pack. So if the packs look a bit suspicious, we might be having some words. But anyways, let, let, let us know what you think. Anyway, we're going to open it up. Might as well use it on the damage section. So it looks like a lot of glue has been used. It might just be me, or might, the box itself might just, be, might just be a little bit damaged, I don't know. But anyways, put that over there. And then we'll open this up. It's really big, this box, and we'll open this up here. Alrighty. Alright, so these are the promos. So you actually do get um, like a, a couple of the like, extra like random ones as well. So that is the that's the promo card for you guys. Just for the 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 um just to get the promo codes and you gotta be really careful getting these out of here. Try not to bend them. Right, so you do get it, it's mostly like um, EVs and stuff you get in here, but there is like a few random ones as well. So I'll just put and group these together. Alright, so for some reason, I don't know why it does this though, but you do get one of these Reggie Gigas in Hollows. I don't know why that's in there for. I don't know if they do a plan on doing it about. Um, Promo scent, they never got around to it, so they just chucked them in here. But you've also got a promo leafy on, a promo glacier on, and then you also get a Cara coaster. <laughs> That's actually one of my favourite um, fossil types out of all the wall as well. I quite like this one as well. And then, of course, you get promo EV, which this one has actually been really like not sent out if you look at that side. It's not much silver, then this side's loads of a little bit off from left to right, but still a fantastic looking card. And then, same again on Espion Deoxys, it's a bit thicker over here, not quite centered, but the Umbreon Dark Ride looks pretty nice. Again, it's probably slightly off from left to right. But yeah, I'm not pro probably not going to be getting these graded anyways, though, so I'd probably just be going into, the, into some sleeves after this video is done. But I'm going to put these promos to one side, just to make some more room. So we'll just stick them... Oh, we'll just actually leave them there, I'll just start with a shot. And then we're going to get these, so we get... Let's get these packs open, I'll get these packs out. And of course, you throw it, and I drop the big, big jumbo card, there we also get... You also get the jumbo car stick straight on this camera first, I'm not sure if I'll, if I'll be able to fit it on the smaller one, but there, uh, yeah. So, take this off, yeah, so you get this jumbo card as well. And the last jumbo card I got was a little bit off centre, like really badly off centre. This one on the other hand, that looks pretty good, that actually looks really good. Stick this. Under here. Alright, so for the packs, you actually get eight packs in this uh, box as well. So you get a Lost Thunder. I believe you get two Cosmic Eclipse. There's the other one. There's the other one. Two Cosmic Eclipse. A Sun and Moon base set. A Celestial Storm with Blaziken artwork, which is my favourite out of that artwork. Two sword and shield, and an X and Y evolutions pack as well. So let's just start with let's start with Celestial Storm. I don't know. I just I just love this artwork of Blaziken. I would love to get a Blaziken in this as well. So if uh, if we do, then uh, 
Ha, wie gehört, sagt sie, slash the storm cord. Oh, some of the, like, are these, like, when we packed? I don't know. I don't think they have, but we'll see if we get anything good. If, if they haven't, they've been put back in the right order. So we get fire, we got bulls, illumines, poke nav, shepherd, mudkip, beldum, a wheel mat, oops, spinner rack, illumines, hollow, and a non hollow regular septile. Alright, so basically, until we actually pull something good, I'm not going to be. 100% convinced it hasn't been re rethinked, but I think it's alright. I think it's a. Uh, these seem to be quite normal to open, they're not like too. they're not too easy. And they are, of course, all. in the right order as well. I think it's pretty okay, I think it's just. I think the box must have just been damaged. I don't think it was uh, repackaged in any way. Zatu, Bayleaf, Ralts, Dideni, Cyndaquil, Pango and Eevee. Ooh, a very nice looking reverse. Moltres and... Ooh, it's a hollow shaman. So we'll stick him there. So we'll do like a, do like a hollow. Alright, so that was Lost Thunder and Celestial Storm. I'm gonna go with Cosmic Eclipse next. I don't know why, but uh, come on. You always get the codes the wrong way around in some of these promos. <laughs> Oops, I've just dropped the energy. Leaf energy, yay! <laughs> Alright, guys. Vibrava, we got a great catcher. Pikachu, like you saw before. Stuffle, Ponyard, Lithio, Coughing, Reverse, Lycan Rock, and Swanana. It's nothing fantastic just yet. Oops. We'll come back, we'll do the other Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, now I forgot about the Sun and Moon pack, so we'll do the Sun and Moon pack after, after this one. So far, nothing really too good. Just regular rares so far. Togo tomorrow, Great Catcher again, Probo Pass, Swirlix, Prima, Slugma, Chinchow. I haven't got this one yet, the Pikachu Secret Rare. Yes, I wasn't expecting to get anything to be honest. Like, it's, just, it's such a such a uh, shock actually pulling something. I'm going to get a little sleeve for this. And then the last one, the Trevin, and I don't have this rare either. So, yeah, that's two for, that's two new ones for the Cosmic uh, Binder at least. Definitely don't have that Trevin in. So we've got the Pikachu Full Art Secret Rare from Cosmic Eclipse. This one's probably the most uh, valuable one out of all of the um, out of all of these like trainer cards, character cards from uh, Cosmic Eclipse. This is probably the best one. So yeah, I'm happy with that one. Not bad at all. All right, so we're gonna go Sun and Moon next. There's another one. Here we go. Go for the code. Right. Can we make two pulls in a row? I hope not because this is just the Sun and Moon base. I'd rather get it in the Sword and Shield or the Evolutions. Sandy Gast, Dratini, Diglett, Bunsweet, Reverse, Ratata. I do prefer the Sun and Moon reverses to be honest. And oh, very nice. Oh, it's amazing actually. <coughs> it's a little bit off center. And it's been miscut a little bit as well, so it's not a perfect 10, but it's an Espeon Full Art. It's a Full Art as well, which is amazing. So that's two really good cards right there. And also this is out of like a EV like sort of uh, inspired like box as well collection. So yeah, I don't think this has been repacked, but I mean, yeah, I think it's pretty sure it's just the box is a little bit damaged. <laughs> so, uh, Run open. Okay. 
Oh, this one is really. Uh, right, there we go. Okay, so. Sword and Shield now. Stunfisk. Fox Center Lady. Seeking. Rhyhorn. Mincino. Shinjo. Krogon. Meow. Reverse energy switch and ooh in DDV another one that I don't have. This has been this has turned out to be an amazing box actually. It'll start off a little bit slow. On the uh, on the older like Sun and Moon sets, but it's just the half out one though, but it's another one again that I don't have. Another psychic Pokemon to go there. And right, so for the, the last Sun and Moon pack. Last chance at getting that golden. Oh, the green card as well. That golden um, Zassian V card. So, could this be the Zassian V gold card? Right. Let's go a little bit. What's the lot? Poetry Kid. Heat more. Stun Fisk again. Goldeen. Rosalia. Joltix, Silicobra, Blipbug, Reverse, Galarian, Ponyta, and oh, non hollow Stone Jonah. Actually, I think, to be honest, I think I do need that one. I think I've got the hollow and not the regular regular one. And of course, the last pack is everyone's favourite set XY Evolutions, the original base set reprint. Oh, it's open up very easily. Don't want to give anything away in this one, so takes in carefully. Right. There you go. So the X and Y is only oh, look at that. very weird that it's got some really bad damage on the top of the bit there. And it's got damage there. Maybe it was only reopened just to get the X and Y packs. Because that looks that's obviously the rare as well, and that all these cards just look ridiculously bad. And look at all this, I haven't even looked at the front of these, but these have all got whitening on, and that's got a crease on it. Yeah, I might be having words. I think we might have just reopened really open this one just to get the, the rare out of the X and Y packs, and then he's resealed the pack, because it was really e easy to open as well. A little bit disappointing, there's not going to be anything in here. Oh! <laughs> it's a full art X Dragonite EX, but I can't even get excited about it because look at the state of it. It's not a, it is a nice card, it's slightly bent. Stick it in here, I don't know. Like, how, am I quite surprised that I got this? This is quite a nice card. I don't get it wrong, but like the damage that was on the backs of all of these like cards, I don't know if that was if that could have been if that could have happened naturally or if or if it's been tampered with. But then you put in one of these, so look at that. Like, I don't know if I can focus on that. Oh, that's like damaging from the top of it. I don't know, let me know what you think, if you think it's been tampered with this product, because obviously what I did, it wasn't from a product like bot uh, seller, it was from someone on Facebook. But, uh, anyways, uh, let me know what you like, think in the comment section, whether you think this, whether you think it was uh, resealed or not, I don't know, but obviously you did get some really good cards. Uh, obviously, of course, we've got the full art SBM, we've got the full art secret rare Pikachu, and DDV as well, which is really, really good. So we did get some really amazing uh, cards. Anyways, uh, remember to subscribe, like this video, remember to leave a comment, let me know what you think about it, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.